I cannot wait for today's episode of Spill a Tea. We are really going to be spilling some tea today, guys. Let me tell you. Ow! I can't wait. <laughs> And in today's episode of Spill the Tea, it's going to get real. I'm going to be bringing my brother Scotty in and we are both going to be telling you guys our top three turnoffs when it comes to dating. I am really, really excited to hear what Scotty has to say. But before we even get started, I need you guys to go grab yourselves a cup of tea. Wait till you guys see the tea that I am drinking today. I feel like Fancy Nancy over here because I got... Teamy. If you guys aren't familiar with Teamy, let me give you a little rundown before we get started because it is so worth it. Just listen to me. I promise I would never promote anything to you guys that I didn't hardcore love. It tastes amazing. It's so good. It, it just dribbled down my chin. I can't even control myself. I am an animal. No, but seriously, guys, I cannot say enough good things about this tea right here. This is the Teamy Profit and it has so many benefits. First of all, it strengthens your immune system, so that means it's going to prevent you from getting sick. Like, forget the flu shot. Get Teamy. Also, it reduces food cravings. If you're trying to set some New Year's goals and get all healthy and in shape like me, then mm -mm, girl... Teamy. It's detoxifying and rejuvenating. So if you guys are interested in trying this tea, definitely check out their website. I'll put it in the description box below and also make sure you use my promo code if you want to get 50% off of your order of $100 or more. But anyways, now I'm just going to call in my very special video guest and we are just going to get down to business and I will be revealing my top three turn offs. Here we go. I'm going to snap my fingers and then my brother is going to appear right here. Are you ready? Don't blink. Here we go. <laughs> He's just fleekifying himself before he comes on camera. I completely understand. Don't worry, Scott. We're all rooting for you. Yeah, he's here! What were your um, biggest turnoffs? I have them written down. You know that I'm filming right now, right? No. Here he is! Woo! All Hello. right, guys, so for those of you that don't know who Scotty is, this is my brother. Not her boyfriend, like everyone thinks. And everyone, <clears> even <throat> when we're in public, everyone thinks that we're like a thing and we're not, okay? So don't think that anymore. Yes. Thank you. All right, so anyways, Scotty, do you want to start off with your list or do you want me to start first? Go, I want you to go first. Okay, so Scotty, do you think you could guess the number one thing that's on my list for turnoffs as far um, as dating goes? If it has to do with your personal experiences, then yes, I do. Okay, well, what do you think it is? Like, if you do this, then oh, if you you're smell done. bad. Oh my god! Literally? Can you guys see that? Body odor. If you come up to me smelling like a block of cheddar oh cheese, god. goodbye. I am not going to be into you, okay? So I think that just good hygiene in general is very, very, very important. If you want to get with me, okay? So that's number one on my list of turn offs. Scotty, do you want to share your number one turn off when it comes to dating the females? I wouldn't say this has to do with dating. It's just like in general. Um, conceited girls that like literally think they're better than everyone. That, that just drives me crazy. Like, yeah. if a guy is just trying to be nice to you and, like, compliments you and you, like, don't respond or, like, you. like they feel like they're too good for everyone. And even and, girls don't like other girls that are like that either. I feel like there's a very, very fine line between confidence and arrogance. Confidence is good. That's actually yes. a turn on. Absolutely. Like, a very big turn on if you're confident. But to get too confident, that's kind of annoying. My second biggest turnoff would have to be laziness, okay? If stuff needs to get done, you need to get it done. Like, Scotty can probably agree with me on that. That's actually my second biggest, um... Laziness. Yeah, laziness. Um, I don't think I've ever really been with a girl or, like, talked to one that was too lazy, but, um, that's really annoying. Like, come, like, with all aspects of life, like, mm -hmm. school, work. Like, when it comes down to the more serious things, like Scotty said, like school or going to work. A huge turn off, like. Absolutely. Mm -mm. Okay, the third thing that I have on my list is liars. There is nothing worse than a liar. I mean, really, how are you going to have a future with this person if they can't even be honest with you? I mean, I would rather hear like a painful truth than a bunch of lies. Oh my gosh, that is actually probably my biggest one. 
I didn't think about it, but, like, that is probably the biggest one on my mm-hmm. list from personal experience and just in general. Absolutely. Flying, oh my gosh, in a relationship, that is, like, no. the worst thing ever. You like, can't do it. Like, you're never, ever going to have a good future with this person. Even even little white lies. I mean, okay, yeah, occasionally little white lies everyone tells, mm. but... It's just not a good thing to do. That has a lot to do with, like, trust, too. Yeah, if you're a liar, I feel like, yeah. I'm not going to trust you. And Really? I don't know. Well, yeah. Scott, some, some Scott people I'm being have, sarcastic. No, some you're people like, have, like, if you're a liar, I'm me. not going to trust you. you know, we need to hear Scotty's third turn off. I don't want this to sound bad, because a lot of people do it, but if you smoke a lot, like, it's just a very big turn off for me... Yeah, Like, if you do that, like, do you, if that's what you like and that makes you happy, then that's fine, but too much is, like, bad. I don't know. First of all, that... they're probably gonna smell from it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying, what you smell has a lot to do with how attractive you are. I just wanna let everyone know, I don't have anything wrong with you if you smoke. Yeah, disclaimer. Like, if that makes you happy, good for you. I'm just... Right, I, I mean, I hoard bottles of hand sanitizer, <clears throat> but... Wait, no, no, I gotta say it in a different way. Hang on, hang on. I mean, hey, I... <laughs> okay, just stop, stop. No, no! I need this to be funny. Trust me. I mean, hey, I... <laughs> okay, yeah, we're done. No, one more, one more time. I got it this time. I got it this time. Okay. <clears throat> I li- okay, I just want to say something. Wait, no, wait. I got to say something. I literally will be in my room, like, playing PS4, and I can hear her doing stuff like this all the time. Like, she'll say a line over and over... <laughs> Because like I have to times. make it perfect. I'm a perfectionist, don't you know? Now I'm going to do it right this time. I mean, I hoard bottles of scented hand sanitizer, and it makes me happy. So, I mean, you do you. See, I did it. Great job. See? That was just great. I told you. All right, now we're going to do a bonus one, all right? Since I feel like this video happened very, very quickly, I thought this was going to take longer than it did because we both kind of had the same I'm turnoffs. Mm-hmm. So we have to really put our heads together. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're putting our heads together. Oh my gosh. We're going to think of the number one biggest turnoff. I have it. Ever. And we will do it with our heads separate. Yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> do you want me to just say it or do we have to pretend what to be like, like actually brainstorming? Why don't we do it? Right, actually. Own? Yeah. Okay, we're we're both doing a bonus one, but I'm still thinking about mine. Should I say mine? Yeah. Stop, stop. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so this is probably the biggest one ever. Um, being able to hold a conversation, if you're not able to do that, Ooh, oh, I one. just, it's so bad. Like, it's so awkward. It will never work out, and it'll just be miserable. But what if she's, like, kind of shy? No, if she's shy, that's one thing. Actually, no. But what it's if not. she's just sh- a little bit shy when she first meets you? When she first you. meets you, but if it gets, like, into it, and you can't hold a conversation... No, then that's a that's a turn off. Actually, Scotty's is kind of similar to mine, except mine. Okay, I got. How can I make this into a turn off? Hmm. I guess a turn off for me would be if you can't just let loose and have fun every now and then. Like if you are just be yourself. so yeah yeah be yourself. I guess it's more of like a, a turn off. I, I I don't know. I mean, if being yourself means that you are literally like a rock or an emotionless brick and you okay, kind of well, just then you shouldn't be dating the person like you need to let your hair down even if it's short like that <laughs> and you just need to have fun yes, right don't be so serious don't be so serious i'm kind of serious sometimes but you are but your I'm able to have humorousness fun. comes out every once in a while like randomly you'll be in the living room and you go wow okay that i don't think that's ever happened <laughs> all the time you go wow all the time what? when he's in his room oh when i'm in my room yeah because um i can hear out, you wait. through the walls too shout out to dylan pauling he knows what's up hey dylan all right guys so i hope that you enjoyed this video of me and my brother telling you our turn offs for dating hopefully you guys learned something from this video make sure you leave a comment down below and let us know what are your top three biggest turnoffs and be honest because we're all about honesty honesty is the best policy on this channel anyways i love you guys so much and i will talk to you soon wait actually before we leave try this tea
I like it. And I guess what, Scott? Food. What? It prevents you from getting sick. Really? Yes, it strengthens your immune system. Does it? And it's detoxifying and rejuvenating. And what, tell that they should buy it. What more could you ask for? What more Why could you ask you for? Buy? And you get this cool little cup too. So make sure you check out Teamy, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye! Say bye.